got a bit of a funny story. So how I usually get weed on flights and, you know, to international destinations when I travel is obviously I don't want to bring flour because, I mean, then I'll be dealing with a whole host of status bullshit that I have to worry about incarceration, international drug smuggling charges, that whole lot. So what I do is I simply just, you know, I bake the weed into an oil, make a little oil, and then just make some food, whether it's pastries, brownies always work the best because everybody knows what brownies are. And then you just put the brownies with the rest of your food. You know, there's like jars of rice and all this stuff and just brownies. So, you know, if a security agent pulls out a bunch of brownies, I'm like, what are you doing with this? I'm like, well, it's a snack. So, my mom's a control freak and she likes to just rush and be, just go above and beyond with things. So, our flight's out of Philadelphia at like 8.30, right? And she's like, we gotta leave the house by 6.30, two hours minimum. <laughs> so I'm trying to make these brownies. It's like 6.15, they're in the oven. They're almost done, they're like halfway done. She's freaking out, she's calling me. We're gonna leave without you. I'm like, no, please don't leave without me. Uh, all right, whatever, I'll go. So I pull the brownies out of the oven, they're like half done. So they're like kind of done on the outside, but like liquidy and stupid on the inside. So I like scrape this like goo into a fucking jar, throw it in my bag, and we book it. We get to the airport an hour and a half before our flight even boards. We get through security on a flash because we got our boarding pass. But <laughs> when I put my bag through security, I get a TSA guy, nice old white male, <laughs> comes up to me, sir, I'm gonna have to talk to you about your bag. <laughs> I'm like, oh god. So he's like, are there any sharp objects in there? I'm like, no. So he's like digging through it, he pulls out the brownie mix, right? And it looks like literally like cow shit in his bottle. <laughs> it's so moist and stupid. So he's asking me questions about it. He's like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, it's brownie mix. It's my mom, it's my sister's birthday. We're meeting her in Iceland. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, it, it's partially liquid, so I don't know if I can let it fly. So it's at this point where I have to use Jedi mind tricks on this guy. I'm like, you know what, dude, it's fine. If you gotta throw it out, throw it out. You know what I mean? I gave him the impression that I wasn't either nervous or attached to the item. And then he was like, hmm. All right, well, yeah, I guess just to be safe, I'll throw it out. Because he was going to call guys over to, like, inspect it. <laughs> That's the last thing I need to do is for somebody to inspect that and get international drug smuggling charges. <laughs> so he just threw it out. But then I'm out of weed, right? Where am I? <laughs> so we're booking this, like, it's like this renovan thing or whatever. You can see this shit. <laughs> and the guy who's, like, explaining all this to us is really cool. It turns out he's from Poland, which is where I'm going next month for Steam Fest. So I'm talking to him about Poland. We're, we're hitting it off. He's just cool or whatever. So right as soon as we're about to leave this place and start on a trip, he comes up to me. He comes up to me out of the side. He's like, dude. And he hands me this little number. <laughs> and I'm like, what is that? And he's like, dude, it's my weed deal. I'm like, Phew. I didn't even mention weed or anything like that. And this dude just knew that not only was I a stoner, but I could use some weed. So lo and behold, <laughs> no matter how much control freak parents I have, no matter how much TSA bullshit I have to deal with, it just seems that I always find a way. So now if you don't mind, I'm going to piss off my entire family. Hey, enjoy some smoke. Follow your dreams, bitches.